my Ford F-150 didn't originally come with a ground strap or a ground cable on the alternator. But a few years ago, when I installed a high amp alternator, I added one. So this, in this cable, is a four gauge welding cable that I added to the ground terminal. And when I installed that alternator, I also installed a new positive cable that goes to the positive battery terminal right here. That's also a four gauge battery cable. And I show you how to put these uh, lugs, these end lugs on in a video on how to solder those on. So I did that for a couple of reasons. I added that ground for a couple of reasons. And that is uh, I wanted my alternator to be able to put out as much capacity as possible to charge my batteries as quickly as possible. And I didn't want my alternator to have to ground through the mounting location and then through the engine. And then there's several grounds on the engine. So here's one that comes up here that goes to the engine. And there's one on the starter down below. You can't see that from up here. But I didn't want to have my alternator ground all the way through those other grounds and I wanted it to charge with as much capacity as possible that's why I added a ground cable now it's not going to hurt anything to add a ground cable but uh, the only thing it would hurt is you're adding a little bit of additional weight to the vehicle the advantages are if one of my other ground cables becomes corroded over time I have this additional ground cable so my starter can ground then through the alternator so there's that's a distinct advantage i just showed you the battery end of the termination let me show you the alternator end i used a 13 millimeter head size bolt on my ground cable so whatever that works out in uh, an m size And you can see that I protected both of my cables with this cable protector, the positive being red and then the negative is in this cable here. That concludes the video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe and let me know in the comments.